serving on your bacon and your beans. Pass around your ham and your eggs, oh Lord. Pass around your ham and your eggs. Oh, it's awesome. As a grower, you know, it's really exciting to, um, to see all the restaurants and, and all the other growers and farmers um, and just see the, the passion towards good local food. All the restaurants and their partner farms put on a little, you know, something that you can just walk around and eat. I mean, by the time you're done, it's a complete meal and it's usually fabulous. You were one of the people who started the Fresh Network Forum. It's a real pleasure to see how far we've come and the number of people who are here tonight. I love that those guys say chefs today are rock stars, and I can't wait till farmers are rock stars. <laughs> I think it's the most wonderful time of the year, and I'm very hungry. Is there anything you're especially excited to eat here tonight? Everything. Everything. I had some spectacular fried goat cheese. Whoever thought to fry cheese is okay in my book. <laughs> I saw a pork shoulder, <laughs> which you and I both like. We like the Hen of the Wood creation. It was very good. We're still trying to figure out what it was. <laughs> Crispy pork cheeks, some stewed blueberries, and pickled vegetables. So all things that I want to eat immediately. Well, not the, the blueberries are from Daisy Knoll, but the pork is actually from Pete, too, which is oh. sort of new for them. Uh -huh. This is what I'm eating right now and it's a nugget of it. The pork cheek is already one of the best pieces of a pig because it's really tender and fatty and then you mush it together and fry it and make a McNugget of it and that's like the greatest thing that ever happened. The bourre is one of my favorite Vermont cheeses. Can you tell me what it is that makes it so super awesome? Well, the milk is straight from the cows into the vet, into the cheese, and the cows generally graze straight out on pasture, so it just has a fresh, grassy flavor. It tastes like it just came out of a cow. Yes. You taste the grass. So fresh. <laughs> if anything, for me, it's not grassy enough. Vermont hydroponic tomato, Vermont urban salad salads, and Vermont quality meats, lamb. Prepared by George, uh, Upper Valley's personal chef, uh -huh. and so you can't beat that. This lamb is like, somebody must have killed it back there and then cooked it and let it chill because it is that fresh tasting. That is a delicious juicy tomato. So there you go. Hydroponics are useful for something other than growing pot. A smoked local chicken over a pitchfork forms and spoon lettuce and a local baguette. And we smoked it at the hospital ourselves, so we buy a local uh, chicken. And we're trying to do a show that we use the whole chicken, not just the chicken breast anymore. Because they're a real sustainable operation. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm waiting to have a heart attack or something and have someone give me a coxcomb on a plate. We've grown the uh, summer squash, the yellow summer squash patty pans and uh, yellow zucchini as well uh, for the curried uh, summer squash soup with pickled radishes. That's like a garden in my mouth. The best way to educate is to let people taste it. All the profits from the Grafton Village Cheese Company go back into the foundation to help educational programs in Vermont, to help support rural communities in Vermont. It's sort of like Hitler Youth, but cheese, but you're not doing anything evil. Exactly. Vermont elk, it's raised over in East Rygate. This, this right here is a, the elk meat with a little um, cheese sauce on it with a the vegetable slaw, the only place in the Vermont that raises elk. You cannot stop me from taking this thing that has elk on it, believe me. Okay, I dropped some that was on the floor. I am eating it. She's unstoppable right now. So I'm really excited. You're making quail. Barbecue quail legs, quail legs on a salad of corn, grilled vegetables, and arugula. Is that from a full-grown bird? It is. Oh, is it quail? It's a quail, yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's adorable and uh, kind of and sad. And sad, yeah. yeah. But it's full-grown animal, and it's delicious. Not everyone knows what larb is. It sounds like lard, yes. but yes. it's not lard. It's a Thai salad made with ground meat, usually either chicken or pork. It's chilled down and then mixed with a, a fragrant, spicy dressing. We got mint and cilantro and basil in this one. And the pigs were raised by Green Mountain Girl Farm. And the herbs were grown by Kate over here, so it's a real family Brookfield kind of endeavor. The thing that's amazing about Vermont, I think the, the farmers that are willing to, they've spent all this time learning and struggling, and then they're willing to share with new farmers like us. That's pretty amazing. That's rock star quality. 
Vermont. Vermont's got a lot of them. They brag on these folks all the time. And, <laughs> and uh, Washington, if it wasn't for some of the legislation I've written, a lot of these places wouldn't be here today. <laughs> we have apple pie here. Apple pie. This is cinnamon, chocolate, coffee, maple, strawberry, and vanilla. Oh, God. Oh, no. Can I get more than one? This is how you know you're a VIP. You get every flavor of ice cream. I even like the coffee, and I hate coffee, so it must be pretty good. Here, I have every flavor. Have I gone this long knowing you without noticing you holding a spoon like this? I don't normally hold a spoon I thought not. Okay. Um, So... You're not going to eat all that, right? Jeez, okay. All right, we better sit down. (laughs) 